Hi everyone, it's Tara. Um, I just want to share my art journal, um, do like a little flip through of some of the pages I've done so far. I did do a start to finish video on most of these pages, um, however it's very long um, and I did do a fast play. I'm not sure if I'm going to post it yet, I don't know if there's going to be enough interest. So I decided to just do like a little flip through and hopefully if I have enough time in this video I want to play around with some backgrounds. So let me start by saying this is the art journal that I'm using and it's from Canton. I got it from Michaels and I used a 40% off coupon. I believe it was maybe uh, seven or eight bucks. Um, but it's a multimedia or a mixed media um, paper and it's it's great so far. So all right, my first page is this one, and I have to tell you, I am not pleased with it at all. I want to say it's an epic fail. Um, I was playing around with dilution sprays and stamping, and um, I did a little bit of some molding paste here and here. Um, I just got to say, I don't love it. And I was going to rip it out and throw it away, and you know, no one would have ever seen it. But I wanted to share it with you guys. I wanted to show you that, um, you know, things aren't always perfect. And, um, you know, the things we make aren't always perfect. And a lot of times we don't share them, <laughs> which is fine. But I just wanted to share it with you guys just to let you know, you know, hey, well, you know what? I'm not perfect. And this I'm so not happy with. Um, but I did learn a few things by making this one, by making this uh, first page. I learned that when you use the dilution sprays, which is what I used, it, first of all, green, cut grass, and purple, to me, I don't think it mixes well together. It makes like a brownish kind of ugly color. So that was my first mistake by mixing those two colors together because I hadn't played around with my dilution sprays really much um, with the mixing and all. So that was the first thing. The second thing I realized was that when you add gesso to the background, it uh, kind of mutes the vibrancy of the dilution sprays. Okay, so that's what I learned by making this page. Also, my stamping is like hideous. Um, I have I used a white I have this gel pen, jelly roll pen, and I'm not very happy with the way that um, the white shows up. So I went out and got another pen. It's this one here. And I got this in the uh, the art section at Michaels, and it's made by Pentel. And this one works a little bit better. So, <clears throat> all right. So anyway, that's my first page. Let's get off of that one. So my second page here. I all of these were um, made with the dilution sprays in various colors. So this one I actually used a wood piece that Jane gave me as a mask. Not a mask, a stencil. I used this piece here. Really cool piece. And I kind of like the way that they came, that came out. Um, first let me say, when I did the first page, I was so upset that it just turned out awful that I was like, you know what, I'm just going to play around and make backgrounds to see what I like and, and then I can go back and add to the to the page. So that's what I did here. Um, and I used this as a stencil. And I'm going to go back and add more um, areas with this. You know, I'm going to spray it all and uh, just make it look cool. But So that was that second page. And then this page here, I was just playing around with the blues and the pinks. And I like the way this page came out. However, you can see little orange splotches in it. And that is because, at least I hope you can see it. There you go. And that is because when I did the next page, which is this page, I didn't put paper in between. And... With the dilution sprays, it, this paper gets very wet and it basically soaked through, as you can see here. And then in return, when I did this page, some of the blue soaked through from this. So I need to always remember to put a piece of paper in between 
or what I just did was I just uh, separated each page with another page if that makes sense okay so then this one here um, I really like this one and as you see as I progress I you know I learn different things and what I like and kind of how to play with the color and the water and everything like that now I unfortunately don't have all of the really cool stencils and uh, I don't really don't have a lot of products for mixed media so um, I, I want them I love them I think they're beautiful and I think they're great to work with from what I've seen but I have four children and to go out and buy all that stuff is really I mean I could but it's really not it really wouldn't be in the best interest um, for my family if I did that um, you know I work my husband works but it's just not economical right now so what I did to create this this here and you might recognize it is I got an acetate piece just a piece of acetate here and I hope you can see it and I used my Martha Stewart punch and I did that to make the mask or the stencil. I don't know why I keep saying mask. I did that to make the the stencil. And I just sprayed, you know, I did one uh, spray, I sprayed some colors and then I uh, heat set it and then I went back and I added this and sprayed it and I really like the way it came out. So, um, the one thing about using the acetate is that sometimes your acetate will get stuck. Like I did this one I don't even know if you can I didn't use it yet, but I did this one out of a Martha Stewart um, punch, and the end got stuck in my punch, so I don't know if that's really a good idea. Maybe you can just use, I haven't tried just using some multimedia paper and making some stencils, stencils like that. Um, of course, it might be a one or two time use, but, you know, who cares? You didn't pay much for it. So, on this page, I... I played around with like the dripping you know I've got puddles of, of ink and water and it dripped down and I really like the way that this page came out and I love these colors okay so that's that page and then skipped a few pages here and then this one again I was just playing around with color seeing what I liked um, I sort of on this one I kind of dry brush some gesso on the page and I'm hoping you can see the top of that where um, it's kind of lighter where the gesso is at and then the sprays kind of come through oops sorry oops sorry again <laughs> now this might be upside down but I really want you to see there you go how it looks the difference in the colors and on the next pages you'll really be able to see it um, so, and then also I got out my uh, what is this the water brush and I sprayed a little spray of the green ink it's called cut grass and I just dabbed my water brush in that spray or the you know the part that I sprayed and just started drawing little lines because I knew I wanted to stamp flowers on this page so that's what I did there and I just played around with some stamps. These are all old Stampin' Up! stamps. Um, I used to be a demonstrator for them, gosh, back in 2008 maybe. Um, so I have a bunch of stamps that I just don't use and I just figured I just want to play. And so this is what I came up with. Also on this page I use one of those wood pieces for a mask as well. And that is... And Jane, who is Velocity Vet 1, she was so sweet to gift me all these wood pieces and when she gave them to me I just knew right away that I was going to use them for mass. Um, I don't see it. I must have it in with something else. Let me see here. Hmm. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't see it right here. I thought I put it away, but I guess I didn't. Uh, okay, so. Oh, here it is. I do have it. 
So this is what I used, this wood piece here, and I used that as a as a stencil, and I just sprayed, and then you can kind of see where it got lighter there. Um, I am going to, I don't know if I'll have time to do it in this video, but I am going to um, do some videos where I'm just playing with some backgrounds, and I have some really cool things, some really economical things that you guys can get, like at the dollar store and stuff, that I think will make good backgrounds. I don't know. I want to play, and I want to do it on camera so we can kind of do it together. Okay, so that's that page. And then... I have this page and I really like this page I just use pink and I want to say I think that was lemon zest so I just sprayed and then after I sprayed it I sealed it with Mod Podge matte and I just didn't really want to seal it I just kind of like did brush strokes up with the Mod Podge Mod Podge Mod Podge <laughs> matte Okay, so that's what I did there. Okay, this next page here. I realized that the Mod Podge resists the inks, so I brushed the page first with the um, Mad Pe bleh, Mod Podge Matte, and then I did my spraying with the inks and heat set it. And that gave me kind of a cool, funky looking background. page here um, eh, I don't know if I'm very happy with that but I can change it and make it the way that I really wanted it to be um, so I wanted to do like start out with the lighter color and go out to dark I thought I was gonna have a bunch of drips here but it ended up being like one big puddle of a drip <laughs> so yeah and then down here you can also see where I use that stencil hopefully I don't know if my camera's focusing. It's hard for me to see at this angle. But I don't know. There you go. I think you can see it. So I use that stencil. It's very faint. Okay. This page here. I love this page. This is one of my favorites so far. This page, um, I use what I learned from the first page where I, which I absolutely hated. But I used the gesso, and I gessoed just stripes or like little places on the page first. Because I knew that the gesso was going to not resist the ink, but more it's going to dilute it. It's going to mute it out. Okay, So I sprayed the inks that I wanted, and then once I heat set it, you know, you can then you can really see the gesso coming through. And I thought that made a really cool background. And I love the colors in this one. Okay. Okay, this page here. Again, I used what I learned with the gesso. And I used this wood piece here that Jane also gave me. And I used it as a stencil. And I put it down on the page first. Excuse me didn't have this bird here put it down on the page first and then I just um, used the gesso to um, create the the image I guess the you know use it as a stencil and then I also took my paintbrush and just swiped some spots here as you can as I hope you can see there you go okay and then once I sprayed everything of course then this resisted which is what I wanted I also used a piece, another wood piece, as a mask here, and it was just a little flourish. Um, this little piece here. I used this as a flur, um, as a stencil as well, and set that there, and then I sprayed darker. And then you can kind of see the lighter colors underneath. 
so I'm really liking these wood pieces. They are coming in handy for these, you know, for making my art journal page a little interesting. There, you can see it really good down here. Okay, and then I gessoed the bird and just used my water brush and picked up some of the ink and just painted that up. I also, um, once this was dry, I went around with a blue Sharpie pen and I just sort of outlined the parts of the birdcage to make it kind of stand out more. So that's what I did there. And then this very last page. This I used black gesso and I love, love, love black gesso. I'm so glad I went out and bought it. It is sort of pricey, but I did use a coupon. Um, and I got this kind here, this liquid. Well, this is the only one I saw available, actually, at Michael's. So, um, But I love it. Um, I just love it. So what I did here was painted the background, painted the page with the black gesso. And I hope I'm in frame. I really want you guys to see the whole thing here. Um, and then I got... Again, got to be economical because I don't have all of the cool stencils and stuff. So I'm using what I have around the house. Um, and I have these doilies. And these doilies, they look like this. And I believe I got these from the dollar store. They're heart doilies. I have some other ones and I'm going to do some backgrounds and play around with some backgrounds with that also. But um, these are really thin, so I got like two of them. And I laid it down after the black gesso had dried. I laid it down and I used this as a stencil and what I did was I took some white gesso then and just sort of got my brush and pounced pounced on it and I did a bunch a, a bit in the you know on the outside I just did the whole thing I just pounced to get the image on there okay then when I removed it oh, and I also did it here I did the top this little corner there and then I also did a little edge here okay so then once the white gesso dried I took my dilution spray and I used the bubblegum pink and I sprayed it on there and oh my gosh it just brought this thing to life so I'm definitely gonna do this again I'm gonna use some different backgrounds and stuff um, I'm gonna have to do that on another video I think because this is already at 17 minutes sorry it's a long video but I really want to show you guys um, so after I sprayed the dilution sprays then I got out the white gesso and I kinda like played around with going around like you know the, the image and I just like really wanted to do something else I got some I kinda um, got the white gesso and um, just like filled in that little heart there and then I took my black gesso and I used a q-tip because it gave me more control I don't have I guess I don't have the right brushes but anyway so I used a q-tip and I just sort of took out the part of the stencil that I didn't like like all of this here I used the black gesso and it and took that part out and I think it worked good I also did that here. I'm not totally finished here. Um, now as I'm looking at it, I need to go back and kind of go back with my black gesso and maybe like remove that part there and some parts in here, but whatever. Um, it is what it is for now. I also got my uh, white gel pen and put like little dots around the edge here. And it didn't stay white. It turned like a light pink, but that's okay. So you can see that. And also here I just kind of did a little doodling. I hope you can see that. Okay. And then after that was done, I was like, ah, I don't know, it just needed something else. So I got I had like these pieces of lace and that webbing that I use for um um my balsa box that I did and so I had those pieces laying around and I just figured I'm just gonna put those down so I put a, put them down with a Mod Podge mat and then I just added once that dried I just added black gesso all around it 
So that's what it is right now. Um, so anyway, I hope that um, you will join me. I'm going to do another video and we're going to play around with some backgrounds and I have a few cool things that I really want to use and play with. Uh, this video is getting a bit long so I'm going to have to stop it here but I will be back and um, yeah and also I have a start to finish video on a lot of these pages that I did so if you're interested in seeing it just let me know and if I have enough interest I'll post it if not I will I can do a private I can just send it to you by a private video we can do that as well um, but anyway so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye